The seven must know as a new tenant in France. What are the renting rules in France as a tenant? You just found your new home in France, you signed your rental agreement, and you're not sure what you need to remember to have a smooth experience with your owner. Bonjour, I'm Giga from the blog Expat in France. I help English-speaking expats to move to France and navigate French culture and bureaucracy to build a new French life on their own terms. In this video, we'll cover the seven main points you need to take care of as a tenant in France. And I detail in my France Formula program so many more advice that help expats to navigate French rental housing system to avoid losing money and sanity when renting a property in France. You'll find more information about the program in the description below. Now let's dive right in. First and foremost, as a tenant, there are several key responsibilities you need to be aware of to avoid any surprises or issues during your tenancy. Number one, paying the rent and rental charges on time, of course. You should ensure that the rent and rental charges are paid on or before the date specified in your lease agreement. Rental charges are expenses paid by the landlord which they can charge back to you as a tenant. This might include services for accommodation use, communal areas expenses and even a portion of housing tax. So make sure you keep track of those due dates. You can choose to set up a direct debit to avoid delays too. Now number two, respect the use of the property. Your tenancy agreement will specify the use allowed for the property. If it's for housing residents only, using it for professional purposes may not be permitted unless it's specifically stated in the residence rules under specific conditions. In practice, there isn't much of a risk if you're working from home, from your laptop, for example. But if you have a reselling business which causes disturbances in the residence, it may lead neighbors to complain and may put you at risk if this professional activity is not authorized in your rental lease contract. Now, number three, do not perform transformation without the landlord's authorization. Any alteration to the property or its equipment should be approved in writing by your landlord. An oral conversation isn't enough, even if you have a good relationship with your landlord. You never know how things can turn out down the line. If you make improvements without their consent, they aren't obligated to compensate you. And remember, if the modifications impact safety or proper use, the landlord can ask you to revert them. You should know that by law, painting work in a rental property is a simple renovation that a tenant can carry out without seeking landlord's agreement. This means that you can paint your long-term rental apartment in pink or black if you want to and the owner doesn't have the words to it. You should, however, ensure that the walls are kept clean and carry out minor repairs if needed. Number four, you're responsible for property damages. Take care to document the condition of the property when you move in. Be very thorough in the entry inspection report and sign the lease to avoid misunderstandings later on. Real estate agencies are usually not so thorough for the entry inspection when it comes to defects. However, they become very thorough at the exit inspection, which can therefore end up in expensive deduction on your security deposit. This happened to me when I rented as a student and I lost my security deposit over some screw hole in the wall. And I can tell you that I'm now very thorough with entry inspection today. Number five, grant access to the landlord for necessary repairs. You should allow access to the property for common area improvements or repairs, energy efficiency improvements, normal maintenance and repair to make the property decent. But don't worry, your landlord should inform you about the repairs and their duration. Number six, take care of the property maintenance. You're responsible for everyday maintenance and small repairs. However, any significant repairs due to the property aging are typically the owner's responsibility. As a tenant, you must return the property 
clean and in the same condition as when you moved in. Hence the importance of a detailed and accurate entry inspection report. And number seven, know your rights. Lastly, if you ever face a concern and disagree with your landlord's request, it's essential to check your rights and responsibility. You can even remind them of the rental law if necessary. There are also many associations in France that offer information and mediation services for both tenants and landlords, such as ANIL, Association Nationale d'Information sur le Logement, or ADIL for the local branches. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to your responsibilities as a tenant in France. Knowing your rights and duties will help you have a smooth and enjoyable tenancy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching until the end and see you next time. Merci et à bientôt.